Hey world, I'm back. <laughs> All right, this is my third and final video of um, the evening. It's actually like really late at night. Um, but I just wanted to put some of my um, thoughts of 2016 here. Hope that I'll be able to make another video um, by the time 2016 ends. Um, that's God willing, of course. Um, a couple of things. Um, first, I want to give honor and glory to God, and of course, my mama, my stepdaddy, my family, um, Gadifuna community and the CRNA community as a whole for showing me so much love and, um, commenting on my videos. I know I'm a little bit eclectic, a little bit out there, weird, call it what you want, whimsical, I don't really care. I'm me, and I love it, and I appreciate that you guys appreciate it, okay? All right. First thing going on in my life is I am single. Oh, my God. Y'all, I've been on some dates. I'm not losing hope, but I've been on some dates. But I just, I just, I, I, I don't know what's going on myself. I, um, I don't think I'm lusting after the date. I just wonder what I'm emitting what I'm getting giving off because um I can't be giving off the stuff that they giving back to me I, I just can't <laughs> all right so I've been single for a couple of months now um prior to that I was single for um roughly about a year and um I don't know I think I think it's just this new era of social media and this new era of Of, of nonsense. I, I, I don't know. I've had, um, I actually had one pretty good first date, but being that I travel quite a bit, anybody that knows what I do for a living and, you know, knows that I travel, um, let's say after four months, I've been home maybe, maybe 20 days out of the last four or five months. And I love it like that. I don't want you to think I'm complaining. I actually love what I do. It's just going to be hard, you know, hard to cultivate or um, yeah, cultivate a relationship when you're gone so much and um, the person can't actually see you. So that's that. And um, it's so funny because now that I'm on Facebook a lot more and I um, really keep in touch with a lot of friends on Facebook, uh, I would say about 85% of my friends, you know, if we're not calling each other, we're doing some type of social media in order to communicate. And um, it's crazy how now everybody's like, oh, I've always had a crush on you. Mofo, no, you did not. You didn't always have a crush on me, okay? You see now that, you know, little weed turned into a, a, a rose and now, you, now you're trying to pluck it after them bloom. Okay, I ain't mad at you. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I've had like, seriously, at least 10 people say they had a crush on me. And let me say, I'm not going to say you're lying. But what I'm going to say is, why didn't you say something before? I mean, you waiting 10, 15 years to say something? How am I supposed to think you're serious? Like, that's that's nutty. Oh, because you was dating. Oh, because you was this. Oh, because you was that. Okay, there was a point where you must have seen something. You must have said something to know that I was single. Why didn't you say it then? Like, I'm single now, but right now I'm in Georgia, all right? So I don't really want to entertain a long-distance relationship with anybody. I've done it before. I've done it for years. I actually had a long, long-distance relationship, and I maintained it for years. But I don't want that anymore. I just don't. I want somebody so that we can go out on a date and we can go out and catch up. When I am back in Georgia, since this is now my home base. Of course, y'all know I'm from the Bronx. But I just had somebody recently who I actually had a crush on when I was young. But you see, guys, when they're really cute when they're young, you never quite know. Okay, so I always gave up the vibe I felt like. This is my opinion. I always gave up the vibe of being um, in the books, kind of nerdy, tomboy, but still cool kind of girl. You know, I wasn't beautiful um, by any standards of TV. I didn't look like Lisa Turtle, you know, because that was my standards back in the day. I wanted to look a little bit like Lisa Turtle. Um, but I didn't look like, you know, any, I didn't, I didn't feel pretty. I felt like I was cool because I had two older brothers. So I was sort of tomboy. I was very much a bookworm. So I was very smart. I was a little mischievous, but I was never, ever, um, hypersexualized. I was never, ever in that vicinity of feeling like the dudes are going to come holler at me. That, that just didn't happen. 
So now that I get people like, oh, I always had a crush on you, I kind of feel like, I think you lying. Like, you just see now, now you're trying to holler, I ain't mad at you. But I just want you to keep it real. So I get a lot of these guys telling me, oh, I remember this, but you were too young, but you were too this. Okay, how young was I and how old were you that you had this crush? Because that can be kind of creepy and I don't want no parts of that. Um, I had other people tell me it's because I was with somebody and I can understand that. But um, anyway, yeah, so my <laughs> my love life has been um, non-existent. I'm being honest. It's, it's kind of sad. I think I take um, pride in my professional life that my personal life is lacking. And I can be honest about that. I feel like um, women my age, by the way, I'm 34. I'm okay with saying that. I don't give a crap. Um, we feel this, I have this void, right, where I would like the person that I end up with be as ambitious as I am. But I'm not going to lie, I'm ridiculously ambitious. I am, um, I got so many hands, so, so many... Um, my hands are in so many pots, per se, excuse that last expression I was trying to use, that um, the person that has to keep up with me would have to have a lot of patience, which is weird because I don't have a lot. I'm very impatient. I am um, stubborn. I'm borderline obnoxious. And um, very much want things my way. But I have a good heart, and um, I love to give. I um, love to learn. So I think I'm just, right now I'm just waiting it all out. I am. I'm weighing my options and just waiting, and seeing and seeing what um is best for me. I don't, you know, I don't know if you guys know, but I don't have any kids. Um, I don't know if I will, and I'm just being honest. I mean, that probably makes my mother wanna just, I don't know, probably yell and scream at the screen. But um, I don't know. I I, I just prefer to wait until I feel like I'm comfortable enough to have a child with somebody that I can see myself with or I can see myself co-parenting with at the very least. Um, I could be borderline irrational at times. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but I do have a heart of gold, I think. I do think that I am um, a worthy person of love and trust and um, desire and all that good stuff. I um, I, I feel like I give off good vibes. I love to have fun. I love to um, be with my family. So, but dating has just been so hard. Um, not because I'm getting older. Maybe because I'm getting more intolerant of a lot of things that's going on. Like, I used to be really tolerant when I was young. Sorry that I'm turning back and forth, you guys. That's just the way I do. I used to be really tolerant of a lot of things when I was young. I used to be like, oh, you got a two families? I understand. Oh, Kind of in between jobs, I understand. And now I'm not. I ain't understanding about none of that shit. Like, you in between jobs. Okay. Let me let me know when you're not in between one and you're actually in one. If you live with your mama, pause. Stop. Don't bother. Um, there's just some things. If you didn't graduate high school, don't bother. Um, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest because I don't know what our conversation would be about. If you got your GED, that's different. If you got your GED and you decided to do a, a year or two of college, blah, 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 cool. But if you didn't even do that, don't bother with me. I'm just, I'm going to seem like a miss know it all. And, and you're going to be offended. And I'm going to be offended that you think that. And then she's not going to be cute. Um, Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So life has been real crazy for me. Uh, my family has been doing pretty well. Um, My mother's awesome. My stepfather, um, he has a couple of health conditions, but he's faring well right now, so that's awesome. Actually, I don't really call him my stepdad. I call him my dad because he raised me, and he's awesome like that. Um, everybody's been seeming to do pretty well, but 2016 has been a trying year, y'all. I think I cried more this year in 2015 than I ever have in the last 10 years prior to that. So from like 2005 to 2014, y'all, I didn't cry that much. I don't think I did. But 2015, 2016... Water work. Straight up. <sighs> and I'm an ugly crier too, so. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I'm such an ugly crier. Like, 
I just feel like I cry over everything now. Of course, you know about the elections, and I need Xanax to even talk about that. So we're gonna keep it moving. And um, just overall, 2016 has been a learning lesson, if anything. It hasn't been um, it hasn't been the best, but it hasn't been the worst. And every, you know what? Every time I feel like I want to be mad, sad, feel bad, or whatever, I feel totally ungrateful because God woke me up today and God gave me a career that I can really, really be able to take care of myself and not have to rely on anyone, government or man or whatever. So I don't want you to think that I'm ungrateful because I'm not, you guys. I'm very grateful about my life. Like, I really, truly believe excuse me, I really truly believe that things happen the way they're supposed to happen. As much as I, 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 I don't agree with them, as much as I um, don't want to admit that maybe I wasn't ready for certain things, things happen the way they happen. And um, God, God brought me through. God and the strength of my family and my friends and my loved ones and you guys have brought me through. I don't know if you guys know, but these videos started out as a coping mechanism. I had just got out of a long-term relationship and when I tell you guys, when I tell you guys, I was, so I have no job. I was technically homeless, um, penniless. I felt a little hopeless and um, powerless when I started these videos. So I, wa I want you to know that you guys, your, your strength and your love and your beauty and your, um, you guys were able to recognize the beauty inside of me. It really helped me um, become stronger, become more powerful, more cognizant of the mistakes I've made in, in that because I don't want to make those again. And you guys have really just given me the, um, the strength it was to keep it pushing. Man, it wasn't easy, you guys. There were days where I would just stay in bed. Like, I wouldn't even eat. Like, besides using the restroom... I, I, I just felt like I wasn't even worthy enough to eat. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. I went through a lot of um, a lot of different stages of depression in my life because I felt like I did everything right. And things still didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. And it became so um, heartbreaking for me. You know, I've, I've been through a couple of relationships where things were heartbreaking, but none... To me, none was more heartbreaking than um, feeling like you did everything right and, and doors were still being closed. And I wasn't really able to mature and progress at the level that I needed to in order to be and do things on my own. And then I started doing these videos as a way to, um, to cope. And then you guys gave me the strength and now I am doing wonderful things. I am now, um, I have my own business, um, which is really productive and um really financially stable um i have my own place which i've had for a while now i'm actually going to move to another place that is very nice as well um i was able to get my hope back which i think is the most important and it's thanks to you guys i could give a lot of personal individual shout outs but it really is everybody that helped in one way or the other and i and i think doing personal shout outs really will negate the fact that even on just one day that somebody said one word that really changed that day for me. So I want to thank you all. And I want to say, um, I love you guys. I know, right? Getting mushy here. No mushy shit. I be real. Nah. But seriously, thank you guys and I love you guys for all that you have given me in 2016, 2015. And I needed it. I needed every last ounce bit of it. I really did. Um... So, yeah. So, hopefully, 2017 brings me um, joy, more joy. And um, maybe um, my personal life will take a turn for the better. Um, I know my mother prays every day <laughs> about me. I kind of feel bad about that because since I was, like, 13, I've always said, Oh, Mom, I'm just going to be the cat lady. Which, by the way, I don't like cats. So, I'm probably going to be a cat lady or a dog lady. Um, or a pet because I don't do pets. But... Um, I think she really believes that now I'm really trying to be a cat lady. And I'm not. I'm just really waiting for the person that meshes with me the best. <laughs> and uh, she calls me every day and goes, um, so anybody interesting? And I'm like, no, mama. I know you. Yeah. Which translates to, oh, no, my, my baby dog.
<laughs> I feel bad about that, but mom, don't you worry. Keep on praying, and I'm going. I'm gonna give me a good man, okay? Someone I can bring home. But right. anyway, you guys, I love you guys. Happy holidays. Um, for 2017, I want y'all to have nothing but love, blessings, peace, joy, happiness, satisfaction, a great sex life, the whole nine yards. Let's just do it. Let's just get it done. All right? Love y'all. Bye.